Hello, practical hobbyist. I'm the Alma Doctor. Here to talk today about three phase rotary phase converters. I've uh, made a uh, box here that in fact does take single phase power and uh, turns it into uh, three phase power using a powdering motor. Um, before we talk about its operation, we should probably talk about safety. Um, there is a capacitor inside of this box. Um, the capacitor does have deadly voltage. Um, you don't get a second chance with electricity. It bites you once and uh, quite possibly you can die from it. Um, so uh, make sure when uh, you're attempting to uh, service any electrical components um, that you uh, uh, remove the electrical supply i.e. unplug it, um, discharge any capacitors, and uh, then you can service with a uh, relative degree of safety. Um, we're going to start this uh, pony motor up here. It is a uh, two horsepower Baldor three-phase motor, and uh, we're going to start it up on a 240 volt supply with a uh, 145 uh, it's 175 microfarad uh, start capacitor. Um, it has a uh, 220 volt coil on a three pole furnace contactor for starting purposes. We have a start button, a stop button. Our incoming power is single phase 240 volts. Our outgoing power to the motor will be single phase until the motor starts. After the motor starts it will become three phase power. A little demonstration how it starts. Start the motor with the start button. It is fully uh, running on three phase power right now. You couple this motor to another motor and it will start that other motor in three phase. To stop this unit we push the stop button, contactor drops out, the motor speed reduces as no more current is flowing to the motor. It makes no difference which direction you turn your pony motor, it will deliver the same voltage in forward or reverse. The beautiful thing about a three phase motor is if you are to change any of the two power legs, three power legs, um, you will reverse the direction of the motor. We're going to fire it up one more time just so you see the illustration. This motor fires right off. The uh, capacity of the start capacitor is such that uh, it gets it fired off right away. Um, a uh, larger motor will require a larger start capacitor. Um, this particular one, like I said, is a, a two horsepower, so uh, even if it's on the low end, it's 145 microfarads to start up a uh, non-loaded uh, pony motor. Um, if you have a, a seven and a half horsepower motor or larger, uh, your values will increase. Um, Go ahead and stop this, and uh, we'll go ahead and uh, give you a look at the box here. We're using some uh, Square D uh, control switches, nothing special. Now this box is still live, so we aren't going to touch any of the components here. But uh, as you can see, we have the uh, start capacitor it's in the center of your screen right now. And as we move a little bit north inside of the box here, you'll see some of the uh, the wiring. This is a uh, a furnace contactor operated in a 220 volt coil. A um, Transformer is not necessary to keep this unit in operation.
coming out of the box is single phase power until that motor starts and then this leg becomes three phase power as you can see this is the back of the start switch the back of the stop switch I will post the wiring diagram as well uh, as soon as I get it drawn up on the Hobby Machinist website. Thank you for watching.